Finally, Pixel Experience Plus ROM based on Android 13 is available for Redmi Note 8. And in this video, I'm going to give you the in-depth review of Pixel Experience Plus ROM. So let's start. As you can see, this is the Pixel Experience Plus ROM which is based on Android version Android 13 and has the Android security update of November 5, 2022. Now let's talk about its launcher. It has as always Pixel Launcher installed by default. And if you scroll down, you will see Nexus Launcher written on the package name section. Google has renamed its Nexus Launcher to Pixel Launcher and confirms the end of Nexus branding. But still inside the package name code, they are using as Nexus Launcher. And if you know more about this thing, then you can share it us on comment section below. Now let's talk about its camera. Talking about camera, it has new aperture camera, pre-installed and camera works perfectly on my phone. And also you can install and use Gcam in this room. I've installed Gcam 8.1 build and it's working pretty well. Now let's talk about its quick setting. Quick setting and tiles are slightly changed in Android 13. And also power menu icon is at bottom. And separate QR code scanner tile is present for scanning purpose. Now let's talk about its smoothness and user experience. The ROM is neat and clean with pleasant user experience. I've installed many applications but this ROM comes with very few pre-installed applications. App opening and closing speed also good. And scrolling is also smooth. You will always feel the smoothness of this ROM and won't feel any lacks in normal uses. Now let's jump into its settings section. At first there is network and internet. Inside network and internet there is private DNS and also adaptive connectivity option is present which helps to preserve the battery and in turn gives your device longer battery life. Inside the notification there is conversations and bubble options are present. Also some privacy settings are also integrated inside the notification setting. Here you can get the setting like sensitive notification, allow face unlock unlock screen and skip lock screen features. Now I will jump into battery setting. And talking about battery, there is battery uses, battery saver, adaptive preferences and turn on light when charging option are present. Also you can view uses for past 24 hours and battery backup of this room is pretty good. Now let's jump into the sound and vibration. Inside sound and vibration, there is increasing ring volume option available and also adaptive sound and smart pause options are present. This smart pause feature automatically pause when media volume is muted and we will resume automatically when volume is restored within a set of time. Also at last there is pre-app volume control feature available. Now I will jump into display setting and on display there is no such changes. You will get features like adaptive brightness, dark theme, night light, colors, etc. Now I will jump into security setting and on security you get security warning if you're there and fingerprint as well as face unlock feature is also added in this room. Finally in pixel experience we get face unlock feature. Now let's see what changes are there in wallpaper and style. On wallpaper and style you get 16 different wallpaper color as well as 16 different basic solid color option. Also dark theme, theme icon and app grid are present. Now I will go to the system setting where some new changes are implemented. On system inside languages and input, there is app language option available. And from here you can use different language on different application as per your need. Now I will go to the gesture setting and inside system there is gesture setting available. And here inside gesture, quick tap to start action is present. But this feature is not working at all. It says quick tap detected when tapping the back of the phone twice but does not work. Also in gestures there is quickly open camera. If you press power button twice then the camera application will open. Also there is system navigation where gesture navigation, two button navigation and three button navigation are present. Also additional features like one handed mode, press and hold power button, swipe three fingers to take a screenshot and quick torch option are available. Let's go into the button settings. There is button settings where there is one new feature is present which is edge long swipe action. Here if you long swipe from the edge, you can choose some actions like open close menu, recent app switcher, turn off screen, 
screenshot and many more. Now I will go to the status bar option and here inside the status bar option you can enable network traffic monitor, double tap to sleep, show seconds, change clock position, AM PM, battery indicator style, battery percentage, brightness slider, brightness control and quick pull down option. And you can also get system update and update to any new update if it's available. So this is all about the Pixel Experience Plus ROM. Overall this ROM is good to use and the battery backup of this ROM is also decent. And I can suggest you this Pixel Experience Plus ROM if you want to have stock Android experience and don't do much customization. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you have your own experience related to this Pixel Experience Plus ROM then you can share your experience on comment section below. And if you like this video you can support us by subscribing to Cracksway YouTube channel and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.